This is Georgi for cgtusplus.com and my quick tip for you for 3D Studio Max is a thing I call I like to call the alpha cut. Uh, the alpha cut is something that I recently uh, discovered so I'm gonna show you right uh, real quick so making the perspective a plane and by holding shift and rotating just copy it, it doesn't matter if it's straight or not just to illustrate the, the example and make another one roughly 90 degrees, alright, turn the snaps on okay so here are our planes now make a box Oops. make a box and above it make a cylinder and above that cylinder we're gonna make a teapot alright so go to your material editor and put a very mat on it so secondly copy that material and say color just to distinct between the the objects we're just setting up the scene real quick if you want you can add a, a reflection fall off lower the glossiness alright so we are set if you want you can throw a lamp there a light it doesn't really matter alright so let's say you have this specific scene and you have to use it for something that is very frequent, frequently used but you have to change uh, only the picture oops, only the picture in the box here or the cylinder or this teapot so you have to re-render the scene a lot to change the picture which is put in Photoshop or in After Effects it doesn't matter no actually you're not, you don't have to do this anymore uh, just convert that box into a table poly and attach this cylinder and the teapot select those faces here and inset them by polygon separately and extrude them backwards alright so this those selected um, planes here you can put detach on and say picture one then you select this row of edges here select this uh, and if you want you can insert those real quick extrude them backwards detach it picture two and if you want you can select the teapot here and detach this and say picture 3 alright so we don't need those right now so we're gonna hide them now go to your editor right here and on a new material go to get material and select mate shadow double click on it close that and click opaque alpha this will give us the chance to render the scene without having to worry about the alpha here uh, I mean you you'll cut an alpha piece in every single selection that you applied this material on Put it here, then go right click and go to V-Ray Properties, click Mate Object, Alpha Contribution must be on minus one, and Direct Light should affect shadows and affect Alpha. Close it, and go to your Render tab, 
<coughs> select a bigger resolution if you want and just the quick settings so it's not that awful looking all right put that on low 20 here environment and I think we're done to render all right and click the render button and you see that we have cut our uh, mesh where we detached our polygons here and we have an alpha channel if you look at it we don't have it yet but you'll see it there it is you see we have our made our alpha cut all right uh, I'm going to pause the video right now uh, fire up Photoshop and see what we can do with it so here we are with the uh, done render if you want you can save it uh, you have to save it say alpha cut test and save it as PNG RGB 48 bit uh, store the alpha channel click OK and now we are off to Photoshop so open that and go alpha alpha cut was somewhere here there it is alright now you can see you have your alpha channel right here and if you want you can make a brand new layer and just um, paint above it paint in your alpha cut or we can uh, make a snapshot so press the print screen button and paste see oops see there it is you have your uh, alpha cut done so I think this could be useful for uh, pretty much everything from TV commercials to personal projects and I hope this uh, quick tip was useful and see you next time bye